This is most probably a very familiar scene to many of you uh, for our video team. Let, let me just walk you through what's going on here. This is a hard drive with video projects, it's full. This is a hard drive with another video set of video projects, it's full. This is full. This is full. All of these hard drives are full. What this was doing is killing the productivity of our video team. So I said that let's stop that and let's fix your problem with this. Here. So, convince the guys in our video team to buy a Synology DS1517 Plus and I'm going to unbox this right now. Uh, so what exactly is this? This is a network attached storage and what basically that means, it's a giant box that plugs into your router and any other computer, device, uh, anything essentially that is connected to that router, to that network will have access to this and let's just get that out okay i'm gonna toss the box nobody needs that and it's pretty amazing like you've got a huge box for something this small don't worry nothing's broken okay so besides you know the aspect of access that anybody on the network can access this drive you also have the benefit of of course data protection RAID so one of the problems our editors have constantly faced is with regards to data deletion the hard drive is going bad uh, the data getting corrupt things like that so when you have a network attached storage box you also get the flexibility of a RAID setup you can do RAID 5 which is one drives uh, worth of protection you can do RAID 6 which is two drives worth of protection it really depends on how much you know how paranoid you are about your data our video team is not that paranoid but now that we've had some data failure they are now so we're gonna toss that and this is basically what it is this is a five bay box um, so you can see if we can put five hard drives and I think this supports up to 60 terabytes of storage so you can put about you can put a maximum of five drives with 12 terabytes each and we are using okay let me just also i have a special unboxing keychain there we go so a special unboxing keychain so we are using wd's red drives um now i have a nas setup at home myself and i use a synology I have a 918 plus the ds918 plus and i'm using wd reds in there as well four terabyte drives our video team has currently opted to go with two terabytes and we're planning to upscale again this to a 12 tb setup so how easy is it to really set this up it's, it's pretty phenomenal something this complicated something that offers so much of you know uh flexibility so much peace of mind quite an easy how to it's kind of weird how easy it is to set it up so i'm just first gonna unpack all the drives we're going to be putting in 10 terabytes in here but the usable storage we're going to get is probably going to be close to seven i think i've only unpacked three don't get so excited so these are the three red drives so far and there's two more in here to unpack so the price on this, um, I think the 1517 plus cost us about 63, 64,000 rupees, this box itself, that does not include the cost of drives. And why this? So th there is the DS918 plus as well, which costs the same. It's a four drive system. This is bigger, but cost the same as that. But why did we choose this? The reason we chose this in particular is because you can also upgrade the network card on this to a 10 gigabit line. Um, I'm going to come to that. I'll show you what ports are available on this. So once I've just gotten this out of the way. So all our five, all five of our red drives are unpacked. Now let's take a look at the box itself. It has a USB 3.0 port on the front. What this does is in case you don't want to push data over the network and you just want, you know, your, you want to like we're going to be doing with those stupid hard drives over there. We'll just connect them one by one to this and start dumping everything in at full USB 3 speed. Super convenient. OK, this has four LAN ports at the back. Let's switch that out. 
So four land ports. Uh, this is um, this is aggregated land, so which means this is a total throughput of four gigabit. But our computers, unfortunately, only have a maximum of gigabit. So in the future, when we get newer upgrade, newer computers, we can put 10 gigabit cards in there. We will put a 10 gigabit card in here, and then literally our video editors could actually just edit off this machine if they wanted to. Um, there's also eSATA, uh, which we're not going to use. There's a Kensington lock. Nobody cares. Power, two fans. This is very critical. This these fans keep the whole system cool the drive school the cards uh, inside pretty cool so they're essential now this box i think um i think we got the one with two gigs of ram on board uh that's why the cost of 63 and you can put up to eight gigabytes of ram in here yeah that's right it says uh two gb here so this has two gigs of ram and the reason we don't need higher right now is because we're not going to be doing a lot of data processing on this itself this is just going to serve as more of a backup and storage location for us but when we do upgrade our entire network to 10 gigabit then we will probably also toss in more ram 8 gigs and yeah we should be good to go i think we can also pop in an nvme chip in here to kind of speed up the caching and everything now so there's that how do you put the drives in here you just open these up okay let's do that I actually really like doing this so you just push it pulls out, we take a drive, and obviously the drive has to go in that way, so um, let's just for a second pull these tabs out, and you line that up, yeah, and then you just, okay, now there, this box is here as well so in this you get power cable you get uh oh huh only two land cables i wish they'd given us four come on that makes sense and you get screws without these screws your hard drives are not going to stay in place this is the only frustrating part about this that you have to screw these in i wish they'd develop a system which is like screwless <laughs> and there should be a key here somewhere right? so this is uh, I mean not need it right you're not gonna but sometimes you accidentally might hit the bay door or whatever so you can just lock it and when you do that this doesn't open there now it's all locked okay so the key is important in case now you want to replace your drives and there are some extra screws and these are the, the drive bay clips should never lose these oh. Appu, this place is so dirty i think i'm gonna have to shower after this that means is all four drives have been read LAN 1 LAN 2 are working so if you had the other two LAN ports also plugged in they would have also shown up status lights gonna turn I think it should turn stable this is because the array is not yet ready as in like it's not set up so that's why alert is when you know you've got a drive failing so that's cool Where's the assistant double click and it's now it's searching for a it's searching for a Synology system on the network that this machine is connected to. Hopefully it should find it. Search again. There we go. See, so now it says uh, status it's not installed. 
which means that it's not yet ready. So now we want to double click. Connect. And set up. Uh, okay, we'll have to update. Uh, it's almost done. Oh, it'll restart, it'll take time. So you know the funny thing is this is not for review this is not a review product the drives are not for nothing of this is for review but i'm just really excited because i love making sure that data remains i've worked in a production house earlier and uh we've unfortunately our video team has faced issues with managing data with lost footage with you know slight inefficiencies because they've been using this ugly stack of hard drives over here Okay, so the system is rebooted and is ready for setup and the first thing you have to do is create an administrator account uh, Yeah, that's see okay, this is important because To if you automatically update the OS on the Synology sometimes it can Cause unintended effects. So it's always just better to you know manually do it smart checks very good Bad sector warning, 50 bad sectors, safe bet. Now it's gonna start. Now it says set up quick connect. Now quick connect allows you to access uh, your Synology over a Wi-Fi network or even from the outside. So for now, we're just gonna skip this. Uh, go, okay. So, okay. Let's just go full screen for a second. There we go. So right now we're getting over here the system uh, health, uh, the LAN uptime, all of this. It's working well. But what it's not telling me right now is the, what is the status of my drives. So we go there. Where go? Yeah. Okay. Let me show you that again. So we went here. It's like the start menu. We go to file station. So now it says no volume, no storage pool, five unused disks. So we go to volume, create, and let's say custom, create a new storage pool for better performance. So what this is going to do is basically put all these five drives as one large storage space and higher flexibility will allow me to create multiple volumes which will combine different drive types but you lose a little bit more space. So I'll just go with better performance. Now this is where we do our RAID setup. Now RAID 5 provides fault tolerance and increased read performance. Minimum of three drives are required. And RAID 5 can sustain the loss of a single drive. If we do RAID 1, so these are all our RAID options. So we can do 5, we can do 6, which is a 2 drive protection. And we can also do RAID 10. Increased uh, performance, but you know, storage space is half. So we'll just go with RAID 5 for now. Or, I mean like we will just go with it. and see like I was saying these are all two terabyte drives but the usable space is only 1.82 TB so I think in total we'll end up with about uh, anywhere between five to six terabytes of usable space and now uh, it's fine so that's how much we get 7.26 terabytes after putting in 10 terabytes of worth of hard drives and setting it up as a RAID 5 system allows us to get 7.2 terabytes. That's just not pretty bad. Yeah, so we'll choose BTRFS. Next. And this will work with both Mac and Windows, so it's fine. Apply. So what format did you choose? x -Fact. No, no, that doesn't matter. So now what this is doing is it's creating the volume, the storage pool, and you can see it's processed 17 MB of 6.9 terabytes. And this is going to take a long time. A long time. So 
say bye bye to people yeah so i'm now going to go back to doing my actual job for which i get paid for and appreciate it for and not do the work for my video team because they even refused to give me one hard drive which is going to get emptied out from here but thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this and if you have any more questions about data management you know system types how to back up stuff uh you know just feel free to write it like this is stuff we love doing all the time so thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed this unboxing and little tour of our new backup system for the video team